In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there. Just around the corner, and it keeps you going. Hello, motherfucker. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite games as of late, which is Cyberpunk 2077. Now, Cyberpunk has gone from being possibly one of the best games in existence, to CDPR losing all their credibility and being forced to give out refunds. However, luckily for CDPR, they managed to turn that ship around with the Edge Runners anime, and the Phantom Liberty DLC, where they are able to win back all of the fans that they have lost. So today, I want to make a comparison between what we got at launch, and to what we have now. The only differences so far are in the PS5 version, where they got rid of the Warner Brothers logo and now there's no curve in the UI. Good morning, Night City! Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30! The NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again. Poke in a hole. Scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica. Well. has been your man Stan. Join me for another day in our city of... In order for me to play Cyberpunk's day one patch, I had to turn off my internet because the game will not run without installing an update. This was most likely due to how bad the game was at launch, and CDPR was probably in damage control mode, forcing players to install updates. So yeah, as you can see, the PS4 version of the game doesn't look as nice as the PS5 version. And honestly, the PS4 version of the game looks like someone rubbed Vaseline all over the screen as you'll see soon enough. I originally planned to show off a comparison between the two games right now, where I started from the Corpo intro and then played till the pickup. However, I thought that'd rather be too boring, so I'm just gonna save it for the end of the video. Which the timestamp will be right here, so if you just want to see a side by side comparison, just go there. So let's just get right into the meat and potatoes and see the actual differences between the two games. 
The PS4 version has some obvious performance issues, with textures not properly loading in, or in my case, the game will often freeze randomly. However, a personal annoyance for me is that the UI often glitches out where there are missing textures for various icons like your consumables, or most prominently being that the minimap will often not load correctly. Meanwhile, switching over to the PS5 version, things are much smoother, especially with the new minimap where it now zooms out the faster you drive. Now, it's no secret that Cyberpunk's UI was generally inspired by CDPR's previous game, The Witcher 3. What I mean by this is that the HUD layout is essentially the same between both games. Now, there's nothing wrong with this per se, as many game devs will often use similar layouts between different games, one notable example being Rockstar with GTA 5 and Red Dead 2. But my issues with the UI is that I find driving to be quite difficult, especially before the 2.0 patch. The reason for this is having to look at the top right to see the minimap is just annoying in my opinion. And it didn't help that for the longest time the minimap didn't even zoom out, so depending how fast you were going, by the time you noticed that your turn was coming up, it was pretty much too late. To remedy this situation, CDPR in an update made it so the blip is now lower on the map, which you can see in this clip. But it wasn't until the 2.0 update that made it so the map will now zoom out the faster you go. They also cleaned up the map as well, removing all the unnecessary buildings and now making your GPS lines, well, solid lines. Fun fact, in the 2019 gameplay demo, it's shown that the minimap was supposed to be on the bottom left of the screen. It's a shame that they moved it back to what it is now. Anyways, the map is 10 times better than what it was on day 1. But my only complaint is that I find the map zooms out way too much. As you can see here, I'm driving in Kabuki, and you can barely make out where you are. Oh yeah, and we can't forget to mention that there's now vehicle combat. I feel like that this should have been here day one. I mean, V is seen shooting in the pre-release trailer. Vehicle gunplay is pretty good and forgiving with its auto-aim, but you can still manually aim to better direct your shots. My only issue with vehicle combat is how CDPR implemented the feature, because it's like a toggle, so it's either on or off. This just makes it feel like an afterthought, which it is, but what's annoying about this is that when you pull out your gun, you can't change or turn off the radio. So you'll need to holster your gun, change or turn off the radio, then pull out your gun again. Not only can you use guns, but there's also weaponized vehicles that do insane amount of damage. Weaponized vehicles usually consist of a machine gun mounted to the front of the car, or they may also have a homing motor strike, as you can see here. Now, they have infinite ammo, but to prevent people from abusing these weapons, CDPR made it so they need to be reloaded for a quick time penalty. And so, that brings us to, in my opinion, the most important feature missing at launch, and that is a functional wanted system. The wanted system at launch was a joke, I mean, just see for yourself. Just in case if you are confused on what happened, MaxTac literally spawned right behind me. The police were a joke at launch. All you need to do in order to get a 4 star wanted level, which is the highest notoriety pre 2.0, is to kill 3 police officers. And as you can see here, ignoring my glitched optical sights, the 3 police officers who just spawned right behind me are just standing there doing nothing. Evading the police is also pretty easy, because not only are there no patrol cars, but there's also no pedestrians at all. Before switching over to the 2.0 update, I just want to show off the latest PS4 version, just to show you how bad the wanted system used to be. Just like it was in day one. The police will spawn all around you, and to make matters worse, there are turrets that will spawn in the walls to shoot at you. Now, I find these turrets to be cool in a lore standpoint, but in terms of gameplay, I find them quite annoying. The 
The turrets in Maxac will only spawn in on a 4 star wanted level. However, I wasn't able to see them as I died to the hands of a trauma team soldier who literally two shot me. Ugh! Switching over to the 2.0 update, the whole Wantum system has been rebuilt from the ground up. For starters, there's now a police radio announcing your crimes. Ah! Ah! All available units, disturbance recorded in city center. 521, run that. We're on route. Code zero. I repeat, code zero in this area. All units resume normal duties. Reporting suspicious activity in Haywood. Roger that, dispatch. This is 331 responding. My neighborhood. I'll take you for tacos sometime. All units in the area, order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. Attention, we got disturbance in Haywood. Kids causing trouble again? Okay, on our way. Code zero. I repeat, code zero in this area. All units resume normal duties. Psych All units in the area, reports of additional suspicious activity. Units in Santa Domingo, a crime has been reported. Roger, dispatch. Standing by for coordinates. All units in the area, criminal activity confirmed in Santo Domingo. I repeat, confirmed criminal activity in Santo Domingo. 521 reporting. Sorry, dispatch. Had to take a leak. I'm on route. All nearby units, we got a situation in Watson. Roger, dispatch. What else is new? We'll be right there. Roger. Probably some cyber cyber can but I'll end. Say, any update on my overtime bonus? Dispatch? All units in the area, we have an urgent situation in Westbrook. Uh, Roger, dispatch. Don't they got corp security there? Ah, <sighs> oh, fine. On our way. We have an 0211 in Westbrook. Any units in the area? Come in. Roger, dispatch. We're at Silk Road West. ETA three minutes. I swear, if some rich gonk's pool is clogged again, I fucking quit. To all nearby units, suspicious activity reported in Pacifica. What? In Pacifica? No way! Copy, dispatch. I'm en route. Disturbance reported in Pacifica. Any available units? Roger that, dispatch. But we'll need backup. Dispatch. You there? Damn it, not again. Suspect's vehicle has been located. Details have been sent. Report that confirmed the suspect is still in the area. All nearby units, we have a code 3. Civilian is unsafe. Proceed with caution. All units, code 4 is in full effect. Backup is en route. Report your progress immediately. All units, be advised. Maximum threat level in this area. Max pack is en route. Confirmed by Medwatch, you're clear to take over. In the 2.0 update, you now have 5 stars, and let me tell you, the NCP doesn't fuck around. For starters, Netwatch will be able to hack any car you set foot in. The only way you can lose the quick hack is for the police to lose sight of you, and believe me, you'll want to lose the cops as soon as possible, because once the quick hack is complete, your vehicle will at random shut off, and MaxTac will be deployed to the scene. All units, suspect is a confirmed cyber psycho. Do not engage. A max tech squad has been dispatched. Max tech is the definition of fuck around and find out. I'm not kidding when I say this, but I find fighting MaxTac to be way harder than the Atom Smasher boss fight at the end of the game. As you can see here, I can barely kill the Mantis Blade Operator. Like I even had to resort in using a car just to kill her.
this moment that he knew he fucked up. Remember when I was talking about mini-maps? Well, something that I found to be quite interesting at release was that you can move the whole map around. This serves no purpose other than looking cool, but I will say that seeing the map in 3D does look badass. However, sometime later in an update, CDPR had changed the map to a more traditional layout, which means they had gotten rid of the dynamic map. Now it's interesting with hindsight seeing the new districts as being empty. Anyways, fast forwarding to the 2.0 update, the map has yet again been redesigned. The new map includes two new districts being the Night City Airport and Dogtown. Other features also include the roads being easier to see and the Night City Metro. Pre 2.0, the Night City Metro just served as a fast travel point, and it wasn't even added to the Phantom Liberty DLC as it dropped in the 2.1 patch. You gotta hack a mega building subnet. Spike it with the files I send you. More deets attached. In the 2.1 patch, the metro serves both as a fast travel point and an actual use of public transportation. Yeah, I mean it sucks that you can't move around in the metro, but I'm just glad that you can even ride them to begin with. All you can do in the metro is either listen to music, look out the window, or stand by the door. One of the more important things that CDPR has updated about the game that I think everybody can agree with is the cyberware. The pre 2.0 version was pretty basic with no limit to how much cyberware you can have, which doesn't really make sense with the lore. Anyway, switching over to 2.0, things have been completely overhauled, with a now a new limit to how much cyberware and armor you can have. They also added new cyberware with different abilities. The inventory menu has been altered a bit, where the crafting section was originally on the far left tab, however it was swapped out for cyberware, which is good because not a whole lot of people crafted anyways. The only real big change was the skill tree, where just like cyberware, it has been completely overhauled. I'm not even going to pretend on what all this shit does, so if you wanted me to go in more depth, well I'm sorry. Comparing this with the old style, we can definitely appreciate all the hard work CDPR has done with the game. And lastly, we have the new districts themselves. Dogtown is a nice expansion to Night City, however, my only issue apart from its name is that there's only one way to both enter and exit the district. Now this does not cause any annoyance during missions, but I wish there was at least one other entrance. Anyways, to enter Dogtown, it's behind a gate so you'll need to drive, stop, wait for the game to load, then drive off. Comparing this to pre 2.0, you can see that the road and buildings behind the wall have been completely redone, with the curve in the road no longer being there. And for the Night City Airport, there really isn't a whole lot to do. The district is just used for the Phantom Liberty ending, so all you can do in free mode is drive up, look at the city, and well, drive back. Although the map states that there's a merchant here, you actually can't visit them, as they're stuck inside the terminal, which you cannot access. Looking back at pre 2.0, the road to NCX is just barricaded off. Now that I've shown off most of the gameplay differences, with the only exception being that there are now radio DJs, and the reason why I didn't show them off is because there are like three people who do all the radio stations, except Moral Rock, but anyways, let's move on to the actual comparisons. Don't worry, I'm not dead yet. Exactly. Yet. 
Anyway, what's going on? Is there a problem? We had a leak. My boss called. Dragged me in because we had to intervene. Everyone at Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, if you work in our Arasaka counter intel, you're always fucked. Don't worry about me. I'll manage on my own. Buena suerte. Security forces prevent mass riots in San Francisco. Christ, V, you were supposed to be here an hour ago. Got held up, but I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Ugh, hanging up. I'll be in my office. And you hurry up. A common issue with the PS4 launch version is that the game struggles to render hollow calls as the person who's calling is either not talking or is just bugged out. Visitor authorization granted. Are you online? Have a seat, V. Be right with you. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our bases in the Sea of Clouds. They're about to begin. What's the situation? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just as we thought. You know what to do. Start now. <laughs> Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? A deep clean after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover-up will cost? We would have lost the license. Now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance always. No nuance has you written all over it. We're not done talking about this. I hate that bitch. I always have. Viper Pit. Couldn't have said it better. You in some trouble? Not yet. Right now, I just need a soul I can trust. That kind of sounded like a yes. Meet me at Lizzie's. Be there in an hour. Right now, I just need a soul I can trust. That kind of sounded like a yes. Meet me at Lizzie's. Be there in an hour. Destination, Lizzie's Bar. Noted. En route. This is N54 News broadcasting with a breaking story for you. A conference of the European Space Council screeched to a grisly halt following a failure in the neural stabilization system. Five European Space Council members are dead while three remain in critical condition. Authorities are still looking into what might have caused the shocking incident. The council members were all wearing Biotechnica-provided devices. The corporation's representatives have, as yet, refused to comment. Our reporter is on the scene. We'll have updates on developments as they come to light. Stay with N54 News for the latest. Hello, V. 
Yes? We weren't scheduled to connect till the end of the week. Quantified Satori received notification of a somewhat troubling biometric reading. I felt I should call. Is everything in order? I'm dealing with a temporary nuisance. Nothing you should worry about. Just think back to our last session. The neuromotor relaxation exercises three times a day, they'll soothe and lift your spirit. I know this. See you later. Psycho suit. This look like a landing pad to you. Could have fucking crushed us. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Seems trouble wants in. There's that. Cream new place. Now sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a knife. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? I got sparks flying between the Valentino boys and Maelstrom. Eddie's there for the taking. As long as you don't get flatlined. Yeah, you know how it is. Can't complain, but... He ain't here to shoot the shit about me. Let me hear about this problem of yours. Data shard. Take it. Stand up. You're coming with us. Come on, move Bye it. Us, I think you fellas might have forgotten just how far from home you are. I'm not sure this body was your style, let alone a healthy option. Get out, Claro. Is that a threat? Well, you start shooting, maybe we join in, huh? Before you know it, somebody might die today. We have what we can. It sucks that they had to take out the music in this scene. But moving on to the rescue where we actually get some combat, I was shocked to find out that in the launch version, you cannot skip the tutorial. Chemistry. Sure, why the hell not? Has made the and so, I went ahead and blazed through it so I could get to free roam sooner. So? Not bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Let's do this. Elevator, this way. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Envy? Too simple. 
Not our girl, I think. Keep looking. It looks like these scavengers are kidnapping people to harvest their implants. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. Mira, eyes up. The nails are hit. Okay, things are about to get heated. Enemies watching. Wait for your chance. Pick the prick up. The single Down fire. on this. Score big on the Srima scrub she's got. That's weird. Now here's a bug that happened to me on the PS5 version. As you can see, I cannot take down this guy right here, which pretty much forced me to engage in combat. Now I record the PS5 version first, and even though I was able to take down the guy in stealth, I decided to just engage in combat just for comparison's sake. Combat in both versions are nearly identical, with the only difference being that you're now limited on the amount of grenades and consumables you can use at any given time. I'll go more in depth later on in the video. Jesus fucking Christ. Back from the dead, motherfucker! Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our Biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. No in a minute. Jacking into Biomon. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Got a winner. Or she will be if we can get her to a hospital. Sheesh. Trauma Team Platinum, too. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, sick. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Locate our neurosocket. Should be a shard slotted in. Shit's probably on that. If we clear it, free up the signal, TT could actually drop in, take her off our hands. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural port. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. We're moving now. Check the biomass. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma all the year in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck! She's flatlining! V, you need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Get China! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabron! Get her outside!
Fuera, get her out. Terrace. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. on the ground. Five steps back. Now. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-574 secured. Stimulus being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine, 800 Hey. Give us a lift out of here. Daddy, that guy hurt. Should have followed orders. Set the fuck up, nigga. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Relatively well. Trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD's gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. You don't believe in no fate, uh, every day digging the grave, uh, stepping up here with a stace, uh, city of dreams, city of gang, you don't believe in no fate, uh, can't stop digging nights in. Uh, stepping up here with a city like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. You live in your brain, sending your dreams, sending your scully in the gullies, yeah. Bully in the burrows, oh. Finna take a month to starve. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, right. Taking the roof, hot the Medusa, no way. rocking the loop, back on the roof, back in the back in the back in the back. Gabs, hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie. Come on, B. Can't keep her steady. Hold tight, B. Got you, asshole! B, aim for the driver! Chicago! <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, B. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. you long enough looked up an appetite just waiting sit down let me finish this then we can drop in on senor vector mentioned something about a surprise yesterday am i remembering right or just had a brain fart probably both because you usually forget shit but it just so happens i think i might have bagged us a sweet ass j-o-b go on i mean Maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. 
Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is right on you now, I see. Where do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Where you know? Rut your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Why is every old ripper? It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, in oh wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Hey, v. Is on the chance. Coming oh, in with thanks. a couple of hooks. Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit just got real. Hitting the major leagues. Got a job from Dexter Sean. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Roshi Optics. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. We're going to install both an optical scanner... Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. ...and a subdermal weapon grip. The link's not labeled. And to be perfectly honest, not entirely sure where the hell I got it. Still... Looks like it'll talk to Kuroshi Tech. See what's going on inside. This 
see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. <sighs> I'm ready. Carve away. Okay, all clean. Now for the fun stuff. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Like shit. Doc. Play by play. Makes you sound like a dentist. They're always going on and on. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Good, so let's test it. I'm linking you in. See the magic in action, linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? This is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. Additionally, we can analyze objects, get details on enemy weak points or gang affiliation. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> Ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. The subdermal weapon grip links to our scanner and shows us weapon information like ammo count and fire modes. It also increases the base damage on all connected weapons. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show him what you can do. And once you hit the big time, don't forget where you came from. In the 2018 demo, you actually meet Dex before you see Victor. But in-game, you meet him after you get chipped. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Scanning the serious job just now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Holding, smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory. Smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th. You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab hole. Are you interested? Let me hear it. What's the job? 
There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it, simple. Before we can start in on this though, I need to be sure, sure you all right. Corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. See, got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Now I need Strums involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Of course, I got the eddies to buy it, but me and the Maelstrom boys ain't the best of friends. No flow to our convo, see? Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the Gangoon's info on the convoy. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. She needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. So, see you at the afterlife soon as the job's done. Do good, and this will be the start of a beautiful friendship based on heaps of eddies. It seems Dexter has given us a test of sorts to see if we're worthy. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally at nine. Take advantage of a today only promo price. Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Chingon. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. 
my nose to the ground. Slip around. Hasta luego. Try calling the Militech contact to see where that leads. Stout here. Hi. Um. Heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Hey, everybody, shut it! Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me. Where is it? Come on, spell! On the horn? No. Transport fuck-up's toxic for you, I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self-interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. First exit off Skyline, going towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent who seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit our Ripper Dog. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's assess the situation with our freshly installed Kiroshi optical scanner. There, let's take a closer look. Composite it seems that you could have brought Jackie to the meetup in the beta. However, all of this was cut in the retail versions of the game. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just wanna talk! Crap. Are you here alone? The Corpos have hacked us through our personal link and have subjected Come us on. to a kind of lie detector program. The dialogue system in Cyberpunk 2077 is fully gameplay driven. I asked if you came alone. I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport and you're done with not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Search the area. Now listen, please. We don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Got no ties to Militech. None. Check out. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on. All corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen. I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! It might be tempting to reach for the gun, but the consequences Got could be dire. Do with him Remember, or these guys are really tough. Shit. Checks out. <laughs> Shut him up. Unhand me now before I... <sighs> him you can let go. He has to say. All right. I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want, but you better give me something solid or I will end you. I've got an offer. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. That the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech? Chip spiked with a virus. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. 
That's all I need. Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. What's on there? A tracing algorithm. Latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. The agent gave us the money to buy the bot we need from the gang. By choosing to call the Militech agent early, we have now opened up a non-violent path through this quest. Get in the elevator, fucking sheep. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. got a bot. Model MTO D12. Looks like a spider. Couch. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planted. Yo, Kerr. Peek around the corner. See if we got anything like that. on your culo. Makes you an easy target. Sit down. That really necessary, hombre? Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down, Jack. Planet. Sit down. This ain't gonna end well. Good. Shit. Well, all right. Fucking bravo. Come on. Gotta line up. Take a hit. Actuators are actually pimped with titanium fiber. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings... Mm hmm Could lose your lunch. So what you think? The bot. I'll take it. Two questions. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Got 50 large on this credit. And you positively reek of Militech. Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice, because I say you'll pay twice. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Dexter Deshaun sent me. Dexter Deshaun. Dreads. Gold plate. Fat old fuck. That him? Nope. He's alive, well, and kicking. He sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Preds on this. Move 
it. Bang. Bring it, cocksuckers! Cut me a rat! Unload on them, me! Cut low! Let me go, dog! Cut off. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! It turns out the cred ship we got from the Militech agent contained a virus Cut which off. fried their system. Virus muscle. Grab the gear. Bot and control shard. Quick! Got the set. Bot and controller. Go. The quicker the better. Let's get out of here. Dying. Fresh air. I will it fail this beat. Ah, I could taste it. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. I need no other way.
One fucker left! Didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. When I say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm-hmm. Me too. Heard one of the flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. Guess Militech will never find it. Pleasure doing business. Secure the area! Time we were on our way, Kanan. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh, hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know? We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say, we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Hay luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the military gang? Sure, of course there's trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. And I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Uh-huh. That meat's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Park will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Well, that's pretty much it. Cyberpunk has come a long way from being considered one of the biggest disasters in gaming history to becoming one of the chooms. Although Cyberpunk is easily in my top 5 favorite games of all time, the game we got is a far cry from what was shown off in all the trailers and articles we got. This game was supposed to be so much more, and CDPR had just bitten off way more than they could chew. And with all the investors getting antsy, it resulted in a rush game that still can be felt to this day. My hopes for the next Cyberpunk game is for it to have at least one of these three things. First off, better vehicle handling and customization. Like it's been two and a half years and all you can do is change the color of two cars. Secondly, I want more branching story missions, like the pickup. And lastly, I want the ability to go in third person and for there to actually be cutscenes, like in the gameplay demo. Anyways, it was a lot of fun going back seeing Night City in nice stunning 140p. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, drop a like and hope to see you guys around for the next big video.